Welcome back Ravens. Last year, I shared 7 tips for beginners just starting out with Armored Core, and now due to its positive reception, I decided to create a follow-up. So, if you're new to the game, here are 5 more pointers that might help you get into the gameplay flow better and smooth out some bumps on your journey to becoming an ace pilot. The test mission may seem like an obvious feature, but it's actually such an important tool for mastering the game. Before diving into the main campaign, take some time to test your loadout and familiarize yourself with the capabilities of each weapon and your general AC performance, be it speed, lock-on range, or any factor you consider important. The in-game descriptions can be a bit limited sometimes, so experimenting in the practice environment can give you a good understanding of how the different elements of your loadout work together. Additionally, it's an opportunity to find out what suits your playstyle better, letting you try out your arsenal without the looming threat of an expensive balance report waiting for you at the end. Pay attention to the mission briefing. Before each job, you'll be given a detailed overview of important information such as its main objectives, the enemies you'll encounter, and the environment in which you'll be deployed. For the most part, this can give you a clear understanding of what to expect and help you to prepare accordingly. If the assignment takes place in an open space, you should anticipate encountering fewer buildings to use as cover. And if the mission objective is to protect something, it's crucial you get there in time to stop it from being destroyed. Keep in mind that you are only expected to clear the conditions set to you by your employer, so you should try to stick to the plan and do what you were hired for. It's okay and sometimes really cost-effective to just skip past most of the enemy forces if you aren't specifically told to eliminate them. Always stick to the objective. conserve your ammo and be mindful of your loadout. In Armored Core, ammo management can be quite important as running out in the middle of a fight can prove fatal. Therefore, it's advisable to follow the last tip and plan what you will be carrying in your arsenal for a given mission considering the information you have about it. Try to be careful with your shots to conserve ammo, take out enemies without being too trigger happy and prioritize your targets. Also, energy weapons do have a limited amount of shots that they can use per mission but they are effectively 100% cost free. Since they consume energy from your AC to fire and not regular shells, they won't be included in your balance report sheet as an expense. Just something to keep an eye out for. Use the environment to your advantage. The different areas in the game have a variety of features such as cover, elevation, and narrow passages that you can use to your benefit. For example, buildings and other structures can be seen as cover and can help you avoid enemy fire. If you can find high ground or boost over your targets, it can give you an edge by allowing you to attack from a better vantage point, making you harder to lock into. If the mission takes place in a tight space like a smaller building or a tunnel system, you could use the choke points to block the enemy's path and have them in a more vulnerable position. Usually, laser blades are very useful for these situations. Don't ignore the radar. Be it from a head part or from a dedicated back part, the radar provides a wealth of real-time information that can help you navigate the mission. In addition to identifying the location of nearby enemies within range, it also displays their altitude, which is useful in situations where you are fighting at different height levels such as an indoor or multi-level facility. This means that you can use the radar to track hostile movements, anticipate their attacks, and even understand where they might be coming from. Given that ACs are pretty unwieldy sometimes, knowing which side to face when opening a door might just save you from getting that extra repair cost added to your balance report. As you progress through the game, you'll hone your skills and come up with strategies that will help you to take on the more challenging missions. But, by keeping these tips in mind, you'll be well on your way to becoming a skilled raven in no time. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful, and what you would like me to cover next. Silver Glint, Turning Off Communications